Milan versus Udinese. Milan at minus 265. Udinese plus 695. Milan minus one and a half is at plus 110. Milan to score three is at plus 136. <coughs> they probably will score three as long as they don't get penalties. Uh, draw is at plus 400. The under over is set at three. Over three at plus 100. I'm not sure Udinese score even with Milan's dodgy defence. Udinese a plus 118 not to score Happy to say Milan win this game, uh, but I'm not. I'm not really reinventing the wheel. Tan really? they're minus two sixty five. But to me, I, I was pretty burned by what happened uh, uh, in the previous game. I went. One of my picks was Milan to win at, in Florence, because honestly, seeing the performance they gave in Leverkusen, uh, I thought, okay, they are now more stable uh, and reliable. And it was completely upside down. Now, uh, there has been, I can tell you, obviously, international break. Uh, so many things to, so, so little things to talk about. And what happened in Florence, so with the mutiny from uh, four players that didn't uh, um, obey to the uh, Fonseca order that Pulisic was the penalty taker twice. Uh, that has been the big talk for 10 days. So we've been talking basically about Milan every day. And this is going in the head, obviously, of players and everything. So I think they will be super motivated against Udinese. And I don't see them to fail. Still, they didn't make the cut to my picks because there is a um, degree of uh, unreliability that I thought Milan had fixed and they didn't yet. And Udinese actually are uh, mm, pretty dangerous to handle. They are not extraordinary, but they are dangerous to handle. Anyway, if someone wants to go with that, I would go with Milan, a combo, Milan to win and Alex Classic. Both teams to score and over two and a half goals. Because anyway, mm, you you think Udinese have little to offer, but they always some way find the goal once. Again, Milan is not reliable, in my opinion, enough to go safe on that. But a uh, rich one is Milan to win with that combo. Yeah, I mean, again, it's just Milan and over uh, two and a half goals if you fancy that they're not going to keep clean sheets because they can only win the game if there is a free a minimum of three game, uh, goals. Uh, I've gone with Milan. Moneyline uh, is the first leg of a parlay that comes to about plus 160. So Milan, just to win the game, don't complicate it. Uh, Mina, I know you haven't got a play in this game, but do you see any reason why Milan don't win this game? Wait, did I not have a game? Did I not have a play in this? Let me have a little look. Oh, you did? Yeah, you copied me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, no, I didn't copy you. Don't even think about it. <laughs> but I was like, I'd be surprised if I didn't go for this because to me, Milan are one of those teams that I, well, that have recently become one of my favorites to bet on because you sort of know what they're, what they're about. They're about scoring goals and they're about conceding them too. So it's, it's, a, it's a perfect team to go for when it comes to the Alex Classic, if you like. Um, <clears throat> So here's the thing. You don't think Udinese will score a goal, right? I said and possibly. Surprised. I said possibly going against the grain, you know? So this is an interesting thing because I think that there's a lot been spoken about when it comes to Milan's defence between Gabi and Tomori, that there seems to be a partnership developing despite the fact that Pavlovic is a really great centre-back. Um, and, you know, it, it's just about whether or not the partnership works with him as well as it's worked between Tomori and Gabi. But Pavlovich will play tomorrow. I wonder if that will change anything because I do think he's a great defender. But my issue with them is that they've got Emerson Royale. And if you've got Emerson Royale, I'm, I'm afraid that you're always giving the opportunity a chance to, to score a goal against you. Mm. Not that Calabria has been at his finest either. There's also no Teo Hernandez, right? He's, he's gone. So for obviously disqualified for this match because of his red card. Um, and... You worry about the left flank being able to create the opportunities that they can because the whole thing is about him and Leao being able to create opportunities for them. I don't think, I agree with with everything that Tank was saying about Udinese. They're not a great team, but the only game in which they haven't scored a goal was against Roma. And that was when Juric uh, when, um, first came at, into power on the bench. So they weren't properly prepared for that game. And, and I would say in every other one, they've managed a goal. They're not a beautiful team, but what I do like about them is that they're predatory. So if you make a mistake, they will take that opportunity and they will score a bag. 
and Tovin is back in the team. So I would say I look at this and I think to myself, this is a Milan and both teams to score, to be honest with you. I do think Milan would want this. There's more quality there. But I think a, a safer bet would be both teams to score in over two and a half because Milan do have the ability to implode as well. And I and I do think that there's not all good things going on sometimes in that dressing room. And I and I worry about them because of like the factions that have appeared, meaning that Pulisic didn't get to take a penalty, which he should have. Yeah. So both teams to score in over two and a half. Plus 160, Pulisic, any time. Goal scorer also could be on the cards. I just look for Milan to just actually go and win a game and stranglehold it and basically say, no, that's it. Let's not go looking for fours and fives because the other team are going to score ones and twos. Both teams to score an over two and a half at plus 110 for Mina. For me, first leg of my two-leg parlay mm -hmm. is just straight Milan. Mm -hmm.